Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore creative and innovative Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. I'm your host, Jennifer Gianni, and today we're talking about smart spine footwork. In a previous episode, we looked at this, call it the hot feet, smart spine, with the, the wedges, the footwork, and my daughter, Marcella, was in that first episode, and we had her standing, and we were really looking at the position of her feet, and you know, we let her relax, and so Casey has really nice feet, but I want her to kind of mimic that kind of collapsed arched position, which in one of Marcella's um, feet we were really seeing, and so we were cueing her to really find the outside of her heel and her cuboid bone, and at the same time, to anchor into that first ray. So this whole diagonal here, where she has that nice lifted arch, and then we were really looking at how that centered her talus. So taking that information into the foot straps on the reformer. So that's what we're gonna be looking at today. So Casey is gonna go onto her back, and I think we'll use a red and a blue. And I'm gonna have you hold on to this one first. And I'm gonna help you with these because this is a really um, hard way to get a person into the foot straps, but necessary if you wanna use this warm smart spine wedge. So I'm gonna begin with putting it through the strap here. And you might have to do it a couple of times because the first time that you do it with someone, it's not even. You might have to take them back out again. So Casey's gonna put her foot through the strap and we're gonna find the warmy here. And I'm really gonna try to make sure that it's at the balls of her feet and that the strap here is lined up with the cup of her heel. So that little creek right above the heel bone. That looks good. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we're gonna to go to the other strap. So she's in charge of keeping that pressure into the strap. And then again, right, and we want them to be even or it's going to feel really funny for the client. Mm -hmm. So they have the balls of the feet and then they have that strap in line with the cup of the, her heel. Good. And she can really reach the balls of the feet in. Does that feel okay? Feels good. Yeah. Good. So she's going to start to straighten her legs. Now, because usually we just have this floor of the strap, right? So now we have the floor of the strap and she also has the floor for the balls of her feet that she can reach into and she also has the center of her heel. So this is waking up a lot of the proprioceptors in the bottom of her feet and she's learning how she can create more space and more uh, pulling apart. So again that tensegrity word, so more of that pulling apart of her feet. So let's watch her move for a second. So on the inhale, your legs are gonna come down. Great, and then on the exhale, they're coming up. And then I'm gonna take a look at her from all sides. And gently coming up. And especially when you come to the back, right, this is giving the teacher and the client, because they're seeing their feet, this is giving them a lot of information about alignment. And a lot of people you'll find in the foot straps, they're not reaching into the inner strap of enough and reaching through that first ray point on their foot. And so these little warmies kind of bring that detail a little bit more to light. Good, yeah, Casey, that looks great. And so the right foot just a tiny bit more, mm-hmm. Yep, and then you can also like soften your right knee just a little bit and see if you can find that, uh, more of that swivel in your ankle if you soften your right knee. Good, and just a couple more. And gently up. Now you can add all sorts of choreography once they have the basics of really finding the balls of their feet. So let's do really small circles. So you can open the legs, come down and around and through center. And again, these warmies of the smart spine are giving them, as they move in these different trajectories, it's giving her more feedback of where her feet are in the straps, right? So she's able, as much as she can, 
to reach through that first ball of the foot, yep, into the fifth ball of the foot as she goes out to the side. And I think a lot of people, as they start to go into the choreography with the legs and the legs start to move away from the midline, that the arrangement of where their feet are in accordance to the knee and the hip kind of goes awry. And here, with the warm, smart spines, again, your attention, the volume, is just turned up a little bit more around the feet, and we're able to both feel and see the alignment of the feet as we move through the top of the leg. Great, and I think, you know, a lot of times, too, that people start to do too much with their feet, and they stop moving from the center of their pelvis, so this is also giving the client the awareness of keeping their, their feet in that full floor, in that one space, so that they're really able to move more through the top of their leg. That's it for today. If you have an observation or a question that you'd like to see answered in an upcoming episode, comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or the forum on our site. See you next time and never stop learning.